Just imagine the time people are coming. If you are still using me to tell you to subscribe. Subscribe if you want to. So today we are designing party flyer. Every image I'll be making use of, I'll put the link in the down description bin. See, I'll link this up for you guys very soon. Problem. Open your corridor. Subscribe. Subscribe. This is corridor draw. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our size. To change your size, we have um, the property bar. This is property bar. For those of you who don't know what property bar is, you can go back and watch my previous video. I have a beginner's class. Go and watch that video and come back to this video. But watch this video before you go there. All right. Change the drawing units. All right. We go to, to your drawing unit and change it to inches. All right. If you change it to inches, this is what you're going to have. So the size we're making use of is 10 by 10 inches. Put 10 up, 10 down. Then you press enter. There's a big, there's, is the biggest, um, key or your keyboard just press it enter that is enter key so once you press it you will see automatically it will change your frame will change so you bring your rectangle to and draw it again draw a box use your mouse and draw it then change it to 10 by 10 inches then you press letter p letter p on your keyboard p if you like tell me that this video is long because if it's long, you will complain. If it's short, by how fast you will complain. Every day, everyone will be complaining. All right, so now you see we have a black stroke here. All right, a black stroke. So to remove that black stroke, you will come over to this side. This is red side. I don't know what to call it, but it's a red side. It has this red side over there on top of that. I'm using correct draw 2021. So in case you need it, people will come and DM me if that's following me. No problem. So you right click on it. So let's set online color. And now, what you're going to do is press letter P again to take it out there in case you removed it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import, we're going to import our images. All right. Now, to import your images, what you're going to do is you want to right click and select import. The shortcut is Control I, Control plus I. Now, you locate where your files are saved. As you can see, these are all the files we're making use of. All right. This one you're seeing here is the text. Now click on import. You can see import there. Click on it. You will see this there. Then just basically, you know, drag them and keep there. So over here, and like I said, these are the text we're making use of. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this text. These are the names of the fonts. We are making use of just three fonts. Three. All of you got pack fonts, pack everything. Jam packets are just be deciding in it till you want. You won't listen to me when I'm, when I'm talking to you. Then you use Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl C to copy it. Like, don't share this video. Then come to your current draw and select your text. This is your text tool over here. Then click it and press it there. Use Ctrl V to paste. And I will give you the white color so we're going to see it. Now the first background I'm going to bring is this one. So I'm going to scale it up. If you are scaling up, see we have uh, how many of one, two, three, four, five. This is five, six, seven. If we have eight nodes, these black things you are seeing, they are called node. So if you like, huh? let me tell you people again, don't scale your image like this, like this. No, do not do that or like this. No, use this one, the left, the top left or the top right. It was by the corner, four corner. That is the ones you use in scaling. There are situations that you will make use of this ones at the um, side of it. All right? By making me speak big English. Now, once you scale it up this way, what you're going to do is you're going to go to effect. If you don't have this effect, go to bitmap. Under creative, you will see blur. You will see there, you will see Gwashan blur. Now go to effect, select blur, and select Gaussian blur. Alright? As you can see, I'll blur this image. Alright? 4.8 pixels. Then click OK. Now right click on it on this image. Select power clip. Then place it into this frame. You will see this arrow. There's an arrow pointing to the right. Just place it into this frame, this white frame, arrow, and left click. Left click doesn't mean your right, your hand. I mean, left click. 
See, okay. See, this is left, this is right. This is left click and this is right click. And this is your scroll button. For the professionals, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, you know, but for this, all right. So, um, you know, we are all upcoming, like me, I'm upcoming. So, we are all learning. So, we right click and select edit parquet. Then now what you're going to do is you're going to just scale this up this way. Alright. Once you scale it up, what you're going to do is you click on finish. Alright. Well before that, scale it up very well. Scale it up this way. And um, click on finish. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring in this background. and scale it up this way all right once you do that right click on it and select power clip again place it into this frame now right click again and select edit power clip scale this up all right scale it up and what you're going to do is you're going to use go to your uh, transparency tool select the transparency then go to your mesh mode on your property bar up there there's a property bar up there this is your property bar. Now select your mesh mode, then change this to uh, overlay. Let's try soft lights. Let's try screen. All right. We can leave it on screen for now. Later we'll, we'll check what we're doing. All right. So you scale this up this way. Once you scale it up, you leave it just the way it is. All right, so this is what you need. So I'm going to bring in this image. I'm going to scale it up this way. All right. So uh, this is actually Niger old school when it's late. Party flyer. So we're going to make use of this image. All right. So I'm going to just basically right click on it and select power clip and place it into this frame. Then right click and select edit power clip. All right. So you see this background that we just... Um, edited this one so hold shift page up shift plus page up and bring it forward this way all right so once you bring it forward just that way all right so what you're going to do is you're going to go to effects select block select Gaussian block and blow this background just the way it is all right so so that the lines won't be showing that much all right so this is basically what you are going to have so next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my um, transparency tool and fill out this this way. All right. So this is basically what you are going to have. All right. This is what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this image. I'm going to copy it this way and leave that to that for now. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring in this background. This background over here, so you can see this. Um, these are old televisions, like old day, olden days television, like that where I brought it in here. So what I'm going to do is I want to just scale this one up this way. So I want to just select this, all right. Go to my um, merge mode and select um, overlay, all right. You can see it has blended to the background just right there. Now I'm going to cut it and go into the frame, paste it just right here. And then I'm going to use shift plus paste down and use control. Shift plus paste down is to take it behind. All right, behind. While control plus page up, hold your control and press page up. As you can see, it has brought itself. I didn't bring it myself, it brought itself. As you can see. So let's scale this work up this way and bring this one down so you can see over here it has actually created some cool like a down like a background a cool background so you learn how to blend multiple backgrounds in in this design all right so now just fed out this so why i'm fading this out is basically because i want it to be to reflect on on this image all right so you can leave that to that for now so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to just select this image. All right. Select this image and go to effect. Select adjust. Then go to breadth. Next contrast. 
then increase it to just 11 and leave it there and um, I actually don't want this image to show like to show that much so what you're going to do now is uh, I'm going to click on finish and the next thing I'm going to do is I want to bring in this background this background then what we're going to do is somebody asked me a question what bitmap is all about I will explain that maybe on another video but here I will explain just a little so I'm going to just fade out this edge go to bitmap convert it to bitmap I told you why I convert to bitmap is because without converting to bitmap you cannot um, fade out multiple edges for example if I didn't bitmap it and I want to fade this edge you can see this one will reveal itself now bitmap it change your color mode to RGB resolution 300 click on OK fade out this edge convert it to bitmap fade out this convert it to bitmap fade out this and why I'm converting to bitmap is because what I'm, why I'm fading is because I don't want the lines to show now go to your effects your mesh mode sorry and change it to overlay once you do that you can cut it go into the frame by by clicking and select edit power clip now paste this here and basically you can just um use control page down then use um control plus page up to bring it forward just this way all right so i'm going to just place this one here all right i'm going to basically place this one here all right guys so we'll just take this one up and um uh, we'll leave that to that all right so this is basically what we're going to have the next thing i'm going to do is uh first of all let me change this to screen all right so we'll change it to screen and leave that to that so now what we're going to do is uh, i'm going to just click on finish and the next thing i'm going to do is i want to bring in this background fade it out this way all right i'm going to select my transparency fade it out just right there all right and next thing i want to do is i'm going to right click and select power clip place it into this frame then we'll go into the frame and basically we'll leave that to that just the way it is and um the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to this rectangle tool and draw this way then give it the white color some of you have not subscribed, some of you have not commented, some of you have not liked, some of you have not shared. No problem. No problem, no problem. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring in this um, logo and place it just right here. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is, now you can see if you look at this image closely, if you look at this image, we have light on the background but it is not reflecting on the image like somebody cannot be sitting here and the light is behind and it's not reflecting on the image so we're we, I, I will show you guys how to add highlights so we're going to add some highlights of this now to add highlights to this i'm going to come about so this my round ellipse we'll call it ellipse 2 but i'll call it the round for the sake of those who don't know it's called ellipse 2 so i'm going to remove the black stroke black stroke means outline so I'm going to give it a yellow color. Then what I want to do is I'm going to go to my transparency tool. I'm going to come over to fountain transparency. Then select elliptical fountain transparency on your, on your what? On your property bar. Let me not remind you again. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to uh, bitmap or what is bitmap. Then um, I'm going to fade out this edge. Convert to bitmap. I don't need to explain why I'm fading out because I've explained before. Convert it to bitmap. Then fade out this. You know the problem we're having in Corel Draw is actually because we don't have um we don't have brushes. I don't know if they can do this. Incorporate brushes in Corel Draw. It actually help. 
we can get that in photo paints you know there are things you can do in photo paints which i have not i've not gone i've not even teach you guys photo paints yet so now what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna go to my i'm gonna go to my image mode and change it to screen or we can try soft lights or let's try overlay and i'm gonna bring this one just right here so you can see you can see we are having a reflection over here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy it and paste it again but what we're gonna do is we're gonna just reduce this it's not supposed to show that much so just paste it again all right so what you're gonna do is just basically copy and paste copy and paste over here all right so the next thing i'm gonna do is uh you see this image that we copied just right here so what i'm gonna do is i want to come over to bitmap uh convert it to bitmap all right then go to bitmap again convert it to uh um both to black and white all right so you can change this to light arts all right so once you change it to light arts you basically um increase your threshold to two three two then what you're going to do is click on okay and convert it to bitmap again to reduce the weight all right convert to reduce the weight now go to your trace bitmap select outline trace then convert to line art and let's wait for it to load all right wait for it to load so while it's loading, while it's loading, you guys are subscribing, while it's loading, cool guys. So I'm going to click on OK now. Once I do that, I'm going to just remove this and delete this one. I'm going to uh, basically ungroup this. Then I'm going to uh, delete this one. Select my shape tool, select this and delete this node. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just come back to this. So I can delete this once. All right. So let's duplicate this, copy it and paste it, make it two so that in, for in case you need it again. So I want to just basically place this one here. All right. I want to place it here, give it, uh, I want to give it the yellow color. So once I do that, I want to take it behind view using shift page down there, use control page up to bring it forward. I don't know if you notice something. All right. I don't know if you notice something. So I'm going to just drag this one out here. And once I do that, I'm going to go to effects, select blur, select Gaussian blur. Then we're going to just blur this. Blur it the more. All right. Keep blurring it. So you can try, you can leave it at 21.0 pixels. So now you can see the reflection of this light is on the on this on the edges of this um image that is our subject so we're gonna just drag this one out a bit all right so now i think we're good with that so i will just copy this place it here and just you know leave that over there copy it and paste it again all right so this is basically what we're going to have. I'm going to click on finish and we're going to just leave that. That's so the rest I'm going to do is I want to select my rectangle to draw this way, give it a black color. Then I'm going to use my transparency to fade out this edge, fade it out this way. All right. So once I do that, we're going to basically leave that to that. And right click, select power clip, and place it into this frame. And this is what we are going to have. So the next thing I want to do is I want to just go to my um, ellipse tool, draw this way. And I'm going to use my eyedropper tool, copy this color, then paste it. Then use my transparency tool, um, go to my fancy transparency, ellipse tool fancy transparency, change this to overlay. Then 
drag it in here because you can see the color of this reflection so it has to reflect on this image over here all right so now this is what we are going to have not this but this all right so we're going to delete the back once we do that i'm going to just copy this text here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to break it apart using ctrl k then bring this one here bring it apart using what ctrl k then the font i'll be making use of is on this chica mono that's the font i'm making use of on this one if you don't have this font go and download it guys chica mono so the same font for here all right so the same font for this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just use shift f3 and change it to uppercase same with this shift f3 uppercase shift f3 and uppercase now i'm going to just bring this one here scale it up this way then i'm going to go to my shape tool, decrease this this way all right so i'm going to just scale this one up also decrease the the spacing using my shape tool guys in case you don't know how i did that so select your shape tool drag this in here and um uh, so what i'm going to do is i want to just rotate this to 90 degree this way so i want to bring this i want to basically bring it here and um scale it up this way i'm going to just drag this one in here make it bigger all right so this is what we're going to have so the the color we make use of this is called um this this deep yellow then this one i'm going to leave it so the way it is i'm going to leave it on 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 white so i'm going to use my shadow tool give this one a shadow so once i do that i'm going to go to my property bar the shadow property bar select add all right if you understand what i i went to this um mesh mode change it to add then go to this shadow color change it to white but let's try you know so we'll go to um our feathering change it to 20. all right so let's try all right let's leave it at 20. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break this apart using control plus k that's the shadow apart break the shadow apart i'm going to copy the shadow and paste it again all right but that's much so we're going to leave that to that so we're going to scale it up this way all right so scale it up this way but i think this is actually affecting our is actually affecting our i'm going to delete this lights that i put here and this one because it is affecting our text all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just take this one in here all right so i'm going to just reduce that just right there and scale this one up so this this stuff over here I'm going to drag it in here and um, scale it up this way. All right. So for this one, I'm going to bring this one down this way. So this is what we are going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the fonts of this to this. And um, let's paste it here and change this to what? To yellow. So I'm going to just drag this one over here. And this is what you are going to have. So I'm going to cut this one. This is just right here. And I'm going to change the font to this. All right. This is AM. So I'm going to change it to uppercase using Shift F3 on my keyboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this one apart. Bring this one apart. And using Ctrl K to break it apart. I'm going to scale this one up. Place it just right here. And um, let me change the font to agency. All right, so I'm going to change this font to agency. So let me include this font for you guys over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is let me bold this and see what we got. We're going to bold this and bold this. So I'm going to just bring this one here and bring this one here 
So what I'm going to do now is I want to reduce this to make sure it is aligned. All right, so I'm going to use my rectangle tool, put a line and give it what? This DP loop and leave that to that. All right, so I'm going to select my rectangle tool, draw a box just right here. Now I'm going to remove the fill, give it a, a white stroke. So once I do that, I'm going to go to my shape tool and just give it a round corner shape. This is a round corner shape. To do that, basically drag this knot down here and that is how you're going to do that. So we're going to increase the weight of this light. So let's come over to this place and double click. So once you do that, just come over to this and increase it to two. Then click on OK. So the next thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to basically just come over to this. All right, cut it. Place it just right here. And um, I'm going to change the font to Sequa. All right. So once you do that, you're going to break it to partisan control K. Now what you're going to do is just change this one to Sequa, but the light one. All right. So change this to light Sequa. And basically, change this one to uppercase. Place it just right here. Then change this one to uppercase also. Shift F3. Then decrease this. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to use my uh, shape tool and just increase the spacing a bit. So select this and make it center alignment by pressing letter C on your keyboard. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring this one down here. And I'm going to just reduce this. So we're going to leave that as small as that, not that big. So I'm going to bring in this one. All right. So basically, uh, I'm going to just reverse the spacing. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change this to sequa, but the light one, all right, semi bold. I'm going to reduce this, break it apart using control plus key. Then I'm going to place this one here, give it a black color. Then, as you can see, it's behind fill, behind. It is behind that white stuff you're seeing. So use shift page up to bring it forward this way. Give this one a black color. All right. So you can change this one up this way and you uh, can just change this to uppercase. All right. Change this one to uppercase. All right. So over here, guys, uh, this one. You can basically change this to, you can use icon to do this one. This is Instagram handle. So you get, you can just put Instagram handle here if you feel like, um, but this one you can use font icon if you feel like. So guys, I'm going to go inside. I, I'm going to go into this frame and I right click and select power clean. It is power clip, right? So what I was do with this background, I'm going to use shift page down to take it behind a few this way. All right. So for this one, I'm going to bring it up this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, shape tool and basically fade out this, this way. All right. So I'm going to fade out this just right here. And uh, this is basically how we're going to limit. So the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to zoom into this part and select my ellipse tool. Draw a line just right here. Give it a red color. All right. So I'm going to remove the white stroke over there by clicking on this and set outline color. Now I'm going to come over to this tool and select and type. So let me just use this one, copy this and type plus 18. All right. And leave that there. Then I'm going to come over to this and type drink responsibly. Okay, so I'm going to just reduce this one just right here and select this, reduce it. And um, we're going to leave that to that and just scale this one down. So guys, this is how we made this um, party flyer in current If you have any question, drop me a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share with your friends and see you guys. M minus B D.